What's up guys, this is episode 1 of Making My Gorilla Tag Fan Game, Baboons. Now keep in mind, we are still in the concept stage and there hasn't been anything done on the game yet, except for your mom. <laughs> Although I have gotten a lot done like 3D models for the characters, maps, and some cosmetics. Now it's not like I'm completely done with the game, far from it actually. I did all these models on my phone, so what I like to call them are concepts. I can't really move them over to my PC to make the real thing. So right now, they're just concepts and will be made into better versions of it once I get it onto my PC. So in this video, I will be making a concept for a horror monster and a horror map and taking you through the process. So let's get right into it. Okay, so right here I had in mind for the monster to kind of look like the player model. So I was taking the player model's proportions and just stretching them. After that, I was making the feet and I kind of wanted the feet to be like the monkey vibe where they have like hands on their feet. So I made these little like big old long stretch finger claw things for the feet. And I think it turned out really well and it looks pretty scary. After I was finished with that, I made the legs bend just like he was like in a tall corridor or something. Right here it almost looks like he has a diaper, but it was just making the waist so it could look more natural. My plan was to copy the foot and make it just the hand as well. I thought that would be faster and easier, but I wanted the fingers to be longer, so I had to create a whole different pattern for it. Here you can see I'm attaching the hand and it looked really good and it was really scary how its hands were almost as long as its feet. Stuff like that really gives me the creeps so I thought this would be perfect. It was finally time for the head and I was struggling and I did not know what to do with it. I wasn't really sure what to do with the head, and then I remembered this comment right here. So shout out to this guy for the inspiration. I still wasn't really sure where I was going with this, but I had an idea and it was ta starting to take form. It was also finally time to add the teeth, which I think was going to make it really take form. Now that the mouth was finally done, it was time to make the head fit the mouth. I started by recoloring it and resizing a couple bits of the cheek. My next obstacle was the eyes. I had played around with it for a little bit, but I finally found something that's pretty scary. You'll see it in the end. Now it was time to assemble and make a really cool set. Phew, Ugh, scary stuff. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed. I really had fun making this and this took me over an hour, so subscribing would really help. This is episode 1 of my fan game series, so it's going to be really fun sharing with you guys more concepts until I get my PC to make the actual game. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to watch out.